Hey everybody, it's Sylvia Castillo and I'm always looking for ways to show you how to be more effective in your send out card and giving you tips and tricks. And so I love this one that I'm gonna share with you. It's on sending flat cards um, that are important and uh, meaningful to other people. So in your Facebook, we're gonna start in three easy steps. So first you're gonna go um, get images from your, um, from the group, send out cards like a ninja. Then we're gonna get pictures on Facebook and then we're gonna make a card out of them. So let's do that. In your Facebook account, under your menu, when you pull that up, you're gonna have all of your groups. So uh, if you're not already um, a part of this group, definitely reach out to me um, so I can get you access. Once you're there, go to albums. And then once you're in albums, uh, which there's lots of different images, we're just talking about these uh, flat cards today. So I'm just gonna have you go here. So once you get there, uh, this will all make sense when we put it together. You're gonna choose uh, a few images. I'm gonna choose a work of heart. Once you touch that on your phone, it's gonna allow you to save that photo. So save that photo mm -hmm. as well as any others that you like. For, this, for what I'm showing you today, I'm gonna choose this one. Um, and then I'm also gonna to touch that and hit save photo. And You'll see there's several different kinds. You'll also wanna pay attention to the orientation of the image. Some are left to right, horizontal, and some are vertical. So uh, that all makes sense when we're sending out our card. If we're sending out a card that has an image that's vertical, then we want uh, another vertical image. And again, this will all make sense once we're in the send out card system. So you're gonna save that photo as well and any others that you want. And now I'm assuming that you've already gone through Facebook and saved images that are important to other people. So when you go through your Facebook and you see images, um, uh, I love that one. This would be a good uh, little ray of sunshine card. So you're gonna save all of the images. So I've done that already. So go through your Facebook, find images that are important to other people, find them doing things that are amazing or special moments and save those images to your camera roll. Once you've done that, then you're gonna head over to your Send Out Cards app on your phone. Now, if you don't already have this, uh, I suggest that you download it. Uh, this makes sending cards so easy. It's this, looks like a little envelope here. I'm gonna go ahead and touch that. This is the homepage for Send Out Cards and what we're doing today is building your own. Um, of course, you can do all these other things. We're gonna to stick to build your own today and we're going to do a flat card. So this is saying, do you want a portrait style or do you want a horizontal style card? And um, I'm gonna start out with the um, horizontal. I'm gonna choose that. Now here at the bottom, this is where we have our images. I'm gonna go ahead and choose flat card and create. Once that comes up, it's just asking me, what do you want on the front of your card? So I'm gonna to touch that and I'm gonna choose photos and I'm gonna choose the image I want to have on the front of this card. Keep in mind, these come um, through as a five by seven. So um, this is a great card that can be put right in a frame. So I'm gonna crop it down to that and I'm gonna hit save here right at the top. And this will be the image on the front of the card. I'm gonna scroll, I say scroll, I'm gonna take my finger and swipe over to the um, back panel. And you can see here it says back panel. I don't wanna add text here. I actually am just gonna add another image. So I'm gonna go down here to the edit button and I'm gonna choose image and here you go. I'm gonna choose photos since I've already saved them, assuming that you did too. And then now I can choose the image I want to go on the back of that card. Family is everything. Uh, I definitely believe that's true. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And so now I'm gonna use this little airplane button and send that to the contact I have in my phone. So if I don't already have them in my phone, I can add them new. I can also import them from my contacts or I can just select them. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit select and I'm gonna choose who to send this to. So I'm gonna do that now and hit done, done. And once I do that, um, I'm gonna hit continue here 
And then I'm on a subscription that allows me to do that unlimited amount of times when it's a heartfelt card to one person. So I'm gonna hit submit and then boom, that card is now going to be queued to send, to send out cards and they will print, ship it and take care of all of that for me. So I'm gonna show you a couple more times, um, just the repetitiveness I think may help in um, doing this. So again, I'm gonna to go to build your own this time I'm gonna choose the portrait style one here, and then I'm gonna to go to the flat card. Keep in mind, you can send a regular, regular size greeting card and um, do all of that. But for this, we're gonna stick with the flat cards and create. Touch on my um, phone, choose photos. And then now I'm going to choose uh, this one here just wanting to celebrate the person that I'm sending it to. I can increase the size a little bit. Now, obviously this was a special moment for her. She's going out of her, uh, I wouldn't say it's out of her box. This is, she's an amazing uh, person who speaks all the time. However, I wanna celebrate that. So the, put the picture in again, swipe to the back. I'm gonna change the layout and then choose image and then touch that, grab the, what I wanna put on the back. And this is, um, I love this. There's no more powerful force than a woman determined to rise. So again, celebrating people, hitting save, and then my little airplane and add the contact that it's going to. So again, if these weren't not already in my phone, I could go ahead and add them. Hit done and done and continue and submit two cards in a matter of a couple minutes, right? One more we're gonna look at. So I'm gonna go back again, I'm gonna hit build your own and I'm gonna choose the image, the layout that I want um, and then flat card and create. Choose there for your photos and I'm gonna choose this one here as it's loading here, it should be done in a moment. So I'm gonna leave that as it is and hit save and swipe over. Now this time I want to add some text. So I'm gonna choose this edit button and um, I'm gonna choose a layout that will give me the option to have text and the image. Um, so I think I wanna do this one here, which gives me uh, a little bit of um, image and more text area. So when I choose that, now you can see that I can be both. I can add an image and I can add text. So I'm going to go ahead and go to photos and I'm going to put your work of heart in there. And then I'm going to hit save. Now also, you may not know this, if you go up here to this palette, you can actually change um, the back of that card. So if you wanted to do that, you certainly can. So I'll go ahead and leave it like pink. That's totally fine just to show you how that works. And then when I add my text here, um, I can type it in with my keyboard there or I can talk to text. Hey lady, exclamation point, new line. I just want you to know how much I love and appreciate you exclamation point. Thank you for being such an amazing cheerleader for me and for being there for me always, exclamation point. New line, I treasure our friendship, exclamation point, new line. So now once I've done that, I can touch the end of this paragraph. And when I do that, I can hit select all and I can change the text as well as the size of the text. So that's kind of cool to know that you can do that as well. So I hit the two little T's for the size of the text and then I can um, change here and toggle and change the size or I can change um, the type of text that it is. And you'll find that once you start doing this quite a bit, there are certain text styles that you'll like. So um, there you go. The S is for signature that happens to be programmed into the system. So I'll go ahead and add that into, sometimes it shows up a little larger than I'd like it. So I'll just select it and then um, take it down just a little bit. 
and then hit save. Now you can see I've got um, my picture and then on the back, my little image and my message. And so same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the airplane and who it's gonna go to. And then hit done and done and continue and submit. So like I said, in just a couple of minutes, we have created and sent uh, several flat cards. So I hope that's helpful. If there's anything else you wanna see or know, please definitely let me uh, know. Just reach out to me, send me a text, give me a call, and uh, I'd love to see how I can help. All right, you have a great day.